We want to greet you again in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank the Lord so much that he has allowed us to share at least four days already, and this is the last day that we would share with you. We thank God and we greet you in his precious name. How can we know God? We have talked a lot about God, his being and some of his attributes. We must never forget his goodness and his mercy, which follows us all the days of our lives. First John chapter 4 and verses 7 to 8. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. We have to know God, you have to be born of God. We have to know God. John's Gospel, chapter 3, verse 16. Everybody is familiar with that verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Bible declares that no man cometh to the Father but by the Son. To know God, you must know the Son. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved and your house. You must believe that Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son of God. Jesus told his disciples that if they knew him, they will also know the Father. John 14, from verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. And John 14, verses 6 to 14, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you had known me, you should have known my Father also. And from henceforth you know him, and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me? Philip, he that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am the Father, and the Father in me? The works that I speak unto you, speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me, I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Or else, believe me for the very works sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these, shall do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. We have entered a new year, and it is important for us to know the one who holds the future. We cannot and must not turn a blind eye to all that is happening around us. It is important for us to know the one who holds the future in his hands, and we can only know him through his son, Jesus Christ. The future may be looking very bleak, so many of us, but we can see the future unfolding before our very eyes. Scriptures are being fulfilled daily. The scripture declares that men's heart will be failing because of the things that are happening and will be happening. All the last day scriptures have been fulfilled, as stated in Matthew 24. As Jesus sat upon the Mount of Olives and spoke to his disciples, the Bible tells us that in the last days, Perilous times will come. I believe that these times have come. 
we have to really take stock of ourselves and get to know the God who holds the future in his hands through his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. He is the only one who is able to keep us safe till all these storms and calamities are over. I want to pray that the Lord will reveal himself to you through his son, Jesus Christ. We pray, O oh God, that as this song is sung, I pray, O oh God, that it will be a blessing to your heart, all of you, and that you will really take stock and get to know the Father through the Son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you real well as you listen to this song. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow, because Christ lives, all fear is gone, because I know he holds the future, life is worth living just because he lives and then one day i'll cross the river i'll fight life's final war with pain and then as death gives way to victory I'll see the lights of glory and I'll know he lives And because he lives I can face tomorrow Because Christ lives All fear is gone Because I know My life is worth living just because he lives Because I know he holds the future My life is worth living just because he lives